here we have our model to the three story building and uh, this is composed of the first floor uh, the first the only thing that will be different from typical floor is the columns these columns they carry the load from the top to the bottom but the beams in each floor they will be same because especially if the load is the same so uh, uh, we have the first floor columns all of them are 460 by 158 the second the floor columns will be smaller in size so they are 310 by 158 and the third floor are even smaller 250 by 115 uh, these sizes uh, normally are what you get from your studio companion you estimate the size of the columns and beams and whatnot and then the software will verify if these are efficient or not efficient for the framing or the beams they'll be same because the loads are same on all floors in my case it might be different in yours uh, so the main beams are 360 by 196 and the secondary beams are 200 by 100 so here's a 3d model so once we export this you click on on here and export so it will export it to to robot and here is and robot is exported and you see all we need to do here is to do the analysis always and the analysis starts with this calculation is means analysis so you need to click on this so hopefully this will not give us an error so if it doesn't give us an error it means you are okay and it seems to be fine this mesh will show always and if you want to get rid of it you go here it says calculation model finite element remove it so it will become like that so now this uh, structure is ready for design now we'd like to verify the sections so if you go to uh, uh, steel design here and then you do steel aluminum design it seems to be populated here so it seems to be fine so we first run we just will run this and see if the sections are okay or not so click on calculation here this one So let's see the results. Results. So and it, the green means we are okay. So it seems we are all okay. All the sections seem to be fine. But if you look at the uh, ratio here, there are some of them are over designed, I guess. So we'll close this, and we'll need to to group the sections. So now that we have <coughs> already planned for our structure to be. For, for the first floor columns this one and this is for the second floor third floor so we know each one so we'll group them this is we'll call this first floor columns second floor columns third floor columns and this is the main beams for all floors and this is secondary beam so we'll do that so first of all we need to choose to use this bar selection because this will help us to see so it will tell us because we classified each group by a section size so we know the uh, here so the 460 by, by 158 is the first the floor columns this is this one so if you double click on this one it tells you the mem numbers the members are 1 to 16 because each member has a number these are the ones which are the main column so you go to groups and create first group by clicking on new and the list is paste this number which you got from here and then give it a name which is the uh, first floor columns and for sections you need to choose the Canadian standard and then we need the W sections here and click OK and save this is the first group which is the main columns then we need to go to the second floor columns and second floor columns are 310 by 158 the second floor columns are 310 by 158 so double click on this one so these are the members which are 41 to 56 copy these ones and create a new group which is group number two and the list is these ones 
and these are second floor so second floor columns same thing go and make the sections Canadian standard and we will do this again W uh, click on it and click OK and we save so now we need to go to the third floor columns which are the 250 by 15 I guess 250 by 115 so I uh, remove this one <coughs> 250 by 15 are the 81 to 96 so copy and paste them to first make this group 3 and the list is here and make this third floor third floor column same sections make sure because uh, just in case if we need to get an alternative it will it will load these sections for us okay okay and we save now we are well okay with the with the column so we'll need to go and do the main beams and the main beams are 360 by 196 360 by 196 so these are the sections so again I will create a new group and these are the sections I'll put them here and I'll call them main beams main beams and again I'll choose the sections for Canadian Institute of Steel Con Construction and uh, and W is okay save now I'll, I'll need the secondary beams so secondary are 200 by 100 and again I'll remove this guy I remove this and 200 by 100 is the secondary beam so copy and I'll paste this and make this group number five this is group number five just make sure I'm not making a mistake here so again I'll copy this and paste it here And I'll call them secondary beams. And again, I'll verify the sections are Canadian Institute of Steel Construction. I'm using Canadian standard here. And same W is what I wanted, wide flange, and then save. So I have all the groups here. So I'll close the selection tool. Okay, now I need to go to to code a group this one and go to the list and make sure that I add them all this one this one this one double click so you have all the groups from 1 to 5 and click close and same thing goes for this again choose them all 1 2 3 4 5 close now if you do the calculation it will group them into groups so that's what we want so we'll see here So now it will optimize the sizes. So you see, it says this is uh, group one, which is first floor columns. And it reads, this is the si suggested size. The size was was a huge, so it reduced the size for us. So I mean that what we estimate is was large. I use 460, it and brought this down to 200. So it means the size was very big at the point. And same thing goes for the rest of them so you see there's a huge difference and now it can optimize <coughs> so if I go and say change them all because it was suggesting I say yes because we need to do the recalculation close I will not save and I have to run if you look at you say results out of date here so I need to run the analysis again by clicking on calculation so using this suggested size it will do the analysis 
and we'll get the results. So again, if I do calculation, so it, it changed the sizes even more. So 12 by 86, this is the suggested one. And these are the calculations. And uh, for the second floor is 12 by 46, so this is smaller. And third floor is 150, so it went down to 150. Now the main beams are 130 by 28, and the secondary are 100. So keep on doing this, change again, and say yes. I close, do not save, and run the analysis again. So we'll settle. Uh, so again, if we do the calculation, so you see these are the sizes. So you can, if this is, if you are satisfied with these sizes, you can let go because these are not changing anymore. The 150 is for the main, and <coughs> second beam is 100. So if you want to keep them, I uh, guess close, cancel, and now if you want, you can. You can send this update back to robot if you want to. And you do that by going back to Revit. S sending this back to Revit. So you go again to here and, and bring the results. <coughs> so we say update the model and results. So this will update the your Revit model. Click OK. Accept. So it will update all of these sections. That were huge and large sections. They will, will be the sizes that were calculated by robot structure analysis. I'll just double check the sizes as we go. And after that, so it is updating. See, these size are, will, go, will come down. So it might take some time because it's long. Companies have been reported. You want to see what you know? So, okay, now if we go to the normal 3D and this, these have been changed to 200. This column is 200 by 86. This used to be 460 by 158. And if you look at the second floor column, it reads. Is 200 by 46 used to be 310 by 158, and the third floor column is 150 by 37, which used to be 250 by 115. So this is how you um, it will optimize the size. Same thing goes for the beams. If you want to take a look at the beams again, so and the one of the main beams is 130 by 28. And the secondary beam is 100 by 19. This use this used to be 200 by 100, and the main beam used to be 360 by 196. So all of them were reduced to a reasonable or optimized. That's the end.